Hi everyone, this is Anjali Patak and welcome to my channel. So let's walk through another practice questions uh, for Tableau Desktop Specialist exam. So the first question is the default path for all supporting files, data sources, icons, logs, etc. is in which of the following path, right? So if you have installed the Tableau, just go to this location. Okay, you can go uh, to Documents or My Documents and you will clearly see a folder called as my tableau repository so this c option documents my tableau repository is where you have all the supporting files data sources icons logs etc so this is the answer now true or false all rows from both tables are returned in an inner join so basically the inner join keyword selects all rows from both tables as long as there is a match between the columns okay so if there are two tables table one and table two inner join will basically pick all the records as long as there is a match between the two tables okay and uh, if there is not a match those records will not be shown okay so definitely this statement all rows from both tables are returned in an inner join is absolutely wrong it only returns the uh, records where there is a match between the two tables so the match has to be there between two tables otherwise those records will not be returned okay so it will be false and when you want to first apply a filter and then show the top n or bottom n elements which of the following filters would you use now for this i'll just uh, mention the help given by tableau and uh, if you go to this tableau help and uh, search context filters you will see that you may create a context filter too and this second option create a dependent numerical or top end filter you can set a context filter to include only the data of interest and then set a numerical or a top end filter so whenever there is a requirement of showing the top end or bottom end elements and you have other filters also then you have to make other filters as a context filter i have made one video also on uh, filters uh, and uh, it is named by order of operations in tableau do watch out that video i'll leave the link to that video in the description to get uh, more understanding on this topic then uh, this is the answer context filter fourth question is is sum a table calculation so for this what you can do is you can open up the calculation uh, editor in tableau and uh, it looks like this and when you click on this option you see uh, all types of calculations you can select the table calculation using the drop down over here and then you can see all the table calculation functions over here and you see sum is not here okay so basically sum is just an aggregation it is not a table calculation okay so that is why this is false now you clicked sheet one from the data source page okay so from when you were earlier on data source page and you clicked on sheet one and now you have opened a tableau desktop workspace as shown below so this is the tableau desktop workspace which you have opened on sheet one so what is the main thing that you do here now do you preview the data do you clean the data do you rename the fields and change data types or do you create visualizations to analyze data now it would be very obvious for you to answer this it would be create visualizations to analyze data and that's what we do here in this workspace by creating different charts but uh, these three you know renaming the field changing data type cleaning the data previewing the data this all can happen here in the data source page okay so remember this Now, sixth question is: Is it possible to use measures in the same view multiple times? Okay, example: sum of the measure and average of the measure. Let me show you this. So, this is from Tableau. I have used the same field, revenue field here also, here also. First one is sum of revenue. Second one is average of revenue. So, yes, definitely we can use the same view. I mean, measure in the same view. So this is same measure right so the same measure in the same view multiple times we have used revenue two times here and one is sum and one is average so yes we can do that a seventh question is which of the following can you use to create a histogram 
so this is also very simple you just need to go to show me and then click on histogram and what you see here is for a histogram view try one measure so definitely the answer is a one measure okay now it is which of the following are compelling reasons to use a stacked bar chart this is a multiple choice question so this is a stacked bar chart okay now you see here this is category so we have three categories over here and then using the segment as colors we have made it stacked so one segment is stacked on the other so this way we have three segments stacked over one another for each of the categories so first question uh, first answer is to visualize parts of a whole uh, yes what we are doing is we are identifying or visualizing the parts of the whole so these are three parts within one bar right we are analyzing that to easily visualize trends over time this can be done by a normal bar chart also so we don't need a stack bar chart per se then c is to visualize each discrete category using a separate bar this is again you, know, you can do it using the uh, bar chart you don't need a stack bar chart and then finally the to be able to visualize complex information with fewer bars yeah that's what we here we are doing right we are visualizing too much of information here. one is like category category wise we are identifying the sales then within category we are seeing the segment level sales also like which segment is performing better right so that is why we are able to visualize complex information with fewer bars so yeah first and last would be the answer okay then uh, last question is you have cleaned the data source properly created some calculated field and renamed some column you want to save these changes for future use cases which of the following would best satisfy this requirement now remember here we are just talking about a data source okay we are not talking about any visualization over here so so if you talk about twb and twbx okay these are not the best solutions here why because we are not asking uh, we have not been asked to store our workbooks as well right and dot twm is a bookmark okay so which contains a single worksheet and are an easy way to quickly share your work so the only option we are left is dot tds so that would be the answer and if you want to refer more on this topic you can come here on tab l you can search tableau file types and folders and here you will have information regarding all these file types twb tw twb tbm twbx tde tds tdsx okay so i would advise you to go through all these file types because any question can come on any of these okay so that's it guys thank you for watching this video and do like this video and subscribe to my channel to remain updated with the new content thank you